Hey there, what's going on? Kate McShay here, and today I'm going to be talking to you specifically about one of the most important things that needs to be included in your video and how to actually create the most effective call to action when it comes to the new changes in YouTube, okay? And I'm not going to comment on every single call to action. I'm gonna actually do a couple of different videos on here and I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end, so make sure you stick around, okay? So let's talk really briefly and then I'm gonna actually share with you one way that you can create a really strong call to action in your video. So more importantly than anything, obviously your video has to be good, but when you are creating a video in order to build your business or send them to some kind of training product that you have or a capture page, you want to make sure that you have an extremely strong call to action. And basically what a call to action is, is it's telling the person that's watching the video what they should do next. Okay, because your goal is not to have them end the video and then go watch somebody else's video. Your goal is to have them either click on a link, whether it's taking them to your Facebook fan page, to your blog, to a training video that you have, another training video, or to a product that you'd like that, that you're recommending to them that they should check out with regards to what you were talking about in your video, okay? So your call to action has to be extremely strong. You have to be extremely detailed as to what they need to do and what they will get when they click on that link, okay? So my suggestion is that Especially now with the way that YouTube is and just the way that our attention spans are as um, a society, you need to make sure that your call to action is strong and it comes out in the beginning. So you can verbally say it. You can say it within like the first 30 seconds. You can say, I'm going to be sharing something really great at the end, so make sure you stick around. Or if you don't want to wait, just go and click the link below in the About section. That's fine. However, I'm going to share with you something that you can do today now so that people visually see what you're talking about. So you're actually giving a call to action, and you're directing them to where they need to go. Okay. And then if, if I get enough comments below this video, I will share with you two more strategies that we utilize in order to get more leads from our videos okay so let's hop into this first one so here's my my lovely face <laughs> here's my picture and what I'm going to be sharing with you today is how to actually add in an annotation that's going to be up on your video basically for the whole time so that people know that you are going to be directing them to something else okay because you're going to be delivering content and value in your video however your goal in most videos is to get them to go somewhere else. So you want to get them to go to your fan page or to your blog. And this one specifically, I'm going to be sending them to a training that I have access to as an affiliate from one of my great friends who's, I think, one of the best closers I've ever met in this profession. And it's a whole training product on how he closes the deal, okay, and how he gets people to say yes. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to put an annotation in so you can do the same thing with your videos so that more people will click on your link. Because I want to show you one thing really quick, okay? Okay. So I'm going to finish up my video and watch what happens. So your link is in the about section, right? And you want to make sure that people click on your link. Okay, you always want to make sure that it's in a spot where they can see it so they can just click on it immediately. But watch what happens now. Okay, this is a new the change. Way that you think about closing and it will also remind you that you need to know how to close and do these critical steps in order to have success in your MLM business. All right. So, so let me just fast forward through, okay? So I so bye, watch what happens. It switches over to share, okay? So the problem is, is that your link is gone and you want people to click on your link. So if your video ends quickly like that, what you need to do is you need to have some way for them to have access while they're watching your video to either go down and click on your link or do something that I'm going to share with you in a later video, okay? I'm not going to share with you one, one cool skill yet. I'm going to share with you just one today. I don't want this video to be too long. So what we're going to do is, since it switches over to that share space and my link goes away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an annotation in my video that I'm going to have span out through my video the whole time, okay? So that what happens is, and this is what you should do too, for those quick people, those people that aren't going to watch a 12-minute training video, okay, which is which is actually fairly long. They're, my videos are normally not that long anymore. I suggest three to five minutes. However, if you want someone to watch this training video, because this has really good quality training in it, okay, and I'm sure your videos do too, you want a way for people to access your link 
at all times and know that there's more that you're going to offer them. So let's go right into that. So here's right here. Okay, I'm in my video manager in my back office of YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to annotations. And I'm going to click on annotations and I'm going to pause my video here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add an annotation. And I'm going to add the add annotation. I'm not going to add it in right away. I'm going to add it in a good rule of thumb. If you've really got something that you want people to see, it's probably probably about, I would say 10 seconds in, okay? So they're here for 10 seconds and then your annotation pops up. It's gonna pique their interest a little bit. All right, so I'm going to add in a speech bubble and I'm actually gonna put it right over my face, which I don't always recommend people doing, but I want people to really see what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna stretch this out and I'm gonna put it right over my face. It may annoy some people and it may turn them off, but my goal is to get people to read this annotation and to take action, all right? So what I did beforehand, and it's something that you're gonna wanna do, is a call to action, remember, is a strong direction on what a person needs to do after they watch your video or when they've decided that they want to know more about what you're talking about in your video, okay? So I have something pre-written out, I'm just gonna type it out here. Click this link now in the description below this video to get your free training video. So this is going to be a little lengthy. I like to kind of keep them shorter, but I'm just trying to kind of break down a little bit just the process today of what you need to do when it comes to actually putting a call to action training um, a call to action annotation in your video. So click this link now in the description below, in the description below this video to get your free training video. Learn how to completely eliminate rejection to your product, service, or opportunity for ever with this free training. Click the link below now. Okay, I'm gonna make it bigger. Actually, you know what, maybe I'll go above my head. Let's see where I'm at. Show here coming to you. Let's just double check. Now this is just troubleshooting. This is from my home in Vancouver, Washington. Hope gonna you're totally well. cover my mouth, so I'm actually gonna put it up over my head, and I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay, because you want them to be able to read it effectively. So I'm gonna put it into 16, and then I'm actually gonna make it white. And I'm going to do yellow. I kind of like yellow because when you go over it, they can listen to me, but they can also read, okay? Because people are busy. People like to kind of figure out things quickly. So click this link now in the description below this video to get your free training video. Learn how to completely eliminate rejection to your product, service, or opportunity forever with this free training. Click the link below now. Okay, so what I did is I gave two call to actions. I told them to click the link below in the description you know what, click, not this link, I'm gonna do just click the link today. I'm not gonna attach the link in here yet, that's something I'm gonna share with you in a later video, okay? Click the link now in the description below this video to get your free training video. Learn how to completely eliminate rejection to your product, service, or opportunity forever with this free training. Click the link below now, okay? So, um, what I'm gonna do is, here's the annotation down at the bottom, I'm gonna stretch it out, and I'm actually gonna stretch it out through the whole video, okay? And that might drive some people crazy. It might actually have some people leave. Okay, I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna hit publish. So this is published now, my annotation is here. Here's the thing, 
This may drive some people absolutely batty and it might drive them crazy and they may leave my video, but someone who's truly invested and interested in what I'm talking about and really wants to learn how to ooh, eliminate um, rejection to your product, your service, and your opportunity forever with a free training, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. You're looking for the right kind of people who are struggling with that. Okay, and just so you know, the copy that I got here, learn how to completely eliminate rejection to your product. It's a little wordy, but what I did is I got it right from the capture page that they're going to be going to. Okay, so this is the free training video that they're going to get and they're going to enter in their email there. And so that's what I'm sending them to. So it's congruent with what I'm saying in the video and it's also congruent with what is going on in the capture page. Okay, because you always want to make sure that your stuff makes sense with where you're sending them. So that's what I wanted to show you today. That is a strong call to action. You always want to make sure in your videos that you at least give them a call to action, I would say three times, maybe even four times at the end, maybe once at the beginning. And having an annotation like this, especially now that your link isn't seen when your video ends, is extremely crucial in order to get more people to click on your link, okay, to see what you have to offer. Now, in the next few videos, I will, if I get seven comments on this video that you guys want to know more about two other strategies that we utilize in order to get more clicks onto our videos and get more people to click onto our capture pages and then hopefully enter in their information, just leave me some comments, okay? I want at least seven, and if there's seven, then I will definitely shoot those next two videos. If I don't get seven comments, then uh, I won't be shooting those two videos, okay? And I'll and I'll keep the tricks to myself. <laughs> Just kidding, but um, but I'll only give them out to my team and a couple other people that that we coach. So if you really want to see it, make sure that there's at least seven comments there from different people. It can't be seven comments from all the same person, okay? And then I'll share with you those two secrets that we use in order to continue to get people to click on our links when that about section disappears and it turns into share. So this is Kate McShay. Hope that you got some value from this. Uh, make sure that you comment below with your feedback as well as check out our fan page and our blog if you've got any more questions or you're looking for some more training on how to successfully build your business. Again, this is Kate McShay. Hope to see you around this channel again soon. Take care.